Scaletta. Allora, traditori! Pensavate di poter... Ah! Guida la tremontata di Smash! Behind the setback! They're falling back! Let's move! On me! Shit! I get up here, Scaletta! Corporal, this guy's saying there's more troops headed this way. Terrific. All right. You and Williams take out that MG, then find the prisoners. We're gonna need every man we can get. Hey, Scaletta, over here. They get through this one. We found the machine gun! Watch it! <clears throat> you got a grenade, Scaletta! This would be a great fucking time to use! Put a grenade through the window! Scaletta, you alive? Yeah, just about. Well then get off your ass and let's move it. Whoa. Oh. Grab all Whoa. the ammo you can carry. This might be our last chance. Have the prisoners upstairs. Clear the second floor. Scaletta, you take point. Non ci ha potete fare! O gli faccio saltare! Shit! Looks like we're going this way. Come on, then. I can't see him! Oh, shit! How many of these fuckers are there? Give us a fuck! Just keep shooting! Hey, stay your fucking country up your ass! Hey, let's talk! Hey, my body!
See that gun on the balcony splitter? Get on it! Stand him off! Let's go! Get on that machine gun! Oh shit! They got artillery! Get inside! Dicevo al mio amico di stare attento. Fregatene di fare attenzione, fai ciò che ti è stato detto! Ho sparato, becciotti! Ma che diavolo sta dicendo? Chi si crede di essere? Un offerto da parte! Ma è più davvero Don Calò! Quello è finito! Cacetto! Un congè quando siamo arretà come cucina. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noi altri del posto. Ce ne andiamo. Sapete che potete fedarvi di me? Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit, and then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Vito! Over here! Joe! Hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sources. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, does a bear shit in the woods? Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. What's with this shitty weather? They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry, though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? <laughs> Almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito. Come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, oh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading. Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Ah, uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here, wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the US of A and to having you back home. Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. How come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? 
Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? <laughs> What'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't want to go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. Hey, Giuseppe. It's Joe. Remember uh, last week, you know, the, guy, the guy's name is uh, Vito Scaletta. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, listen up. It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctors say you can't fight no more. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. did you just... Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Isn't that a bit risky? It's me that can end up in a slammer, you know? And how am I going to pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as a welcome home present. And don't worry, the documents will be clean. Trust me. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Como no frade, you're like a brother to me. Now you can start thinking about what you're going to do next. Sure. But first, I gotta go home. All right, you want a ride? No, thanks. I want to walk around a little, see what's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. All right, thanks. Keep the change. But the fire is so delightful. And since we no place to go... Hey, what's the good word? How you doing, soldier? A lot better now that I'm home. You, you want to leave or home for good? Vito! He's hey, let him go! Yeah, we'll be right back. Jimmy! When we finally... Good night. Good Come again. Hi, Mama. I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy's home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, Vito. sis, what's going on? We wait for you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Sit down, sit down. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Benedice, Signore, pronunciare la propria volontà. Siamo ricevendo provvedere la propria cucina di noi. You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it.
I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe, you want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him, work hard like you were your papa. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Dio. I don't give I'm a sorry. damn. I don't care you'll get if you're gonna money. sell hey, everything I promise. you got. What the hell's going on here? Vito! You mind your business, no. asshole. Oh yeah? yeah? Come on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy. Scaring a woman, huh? Come on, show me what you got. Vito, please. You're oh. making it even worse. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of you. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise, the debt goes up again. I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. I promise. Thanks, Vito. Take care of yourself. I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out.
Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like it, he can find another place to live. Whoa, look at this bed. Hey, hey, oh, hey, I don't know how you did things in the army, but here it's only one man to a bed, all right? What, are you kidding me? After seeing the two broads that just left, I wouldn't touch that thing if you paid me. So you thought about what you're gonna do now? You said you were going to introduce me to that guy, Giuseppe. No, 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 no. I meant, you know, the big picture. When you was over there, didn't you think about what you was going to do when you got back? No, not really. Well, besides the usual, you know. Find a nice girl, settle down. Whoa. Hey, there's going to be plenty of time for that shit later. Right now, I'm going to make sure... Hey, uh... Thanks again for that thing with the discharge papers. Hey, all I do is make a phone call. You can thank Giuseppe when we go pick him up. Hey, uh, you think I could, uh... What? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank. I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you gonna let me drive a while? All right, all right. Here's the keys. Just be fucking careful. All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Okay, now make a right here. Then just go straight for a while. Hey, whoa, 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 slow it down a bit. No need to get pulled over for no reason. Hey, Vito, you know what time it is? It's daytime. How the fuck should I know? It's time for you to get your own fucking car. Yeah, I'd love to if I could afford one. Who says you're gonna pay for it? You know you wasn't kidding. They really taught you to drive over there. At least something good come out of it.
Ooh, get a load of that baby. Nice, that's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe's. Welcome to Giuseppe's General Store, a thief's paradise. You name it, he's got it. He even sells phony gun permits and discharge papers for guys tired of getting their asses shot off. Hey, Giuseppe, I brought Hello, you a Joe. new customer. He's uh, straight up, right? Yes, sir, all the way. This here's Vito, my oldest friend. This is Giuseppe, the best safe cracker uh, in Empire retired, Bay. Retire, please. How are you? The uh, papers for you? Yeah, they are. You got them finished already? It was a pain in the ass, but sure, they're done. Well, thanks. This really gonna work? Nobody from the army would bother you again, trust me. You see? What'd I tell you? Here's the money. Take your papers, Vito. Uh, we need a set of lockpicks, too. That we do. And guess who's paying for them? Grazie. Well, you can test it right now. Here, take this lock. You just need to insert the pick into the lock and lift all the pins. You use the wrench to hold the pins one by one. When all of the pins are set, just turn the wrench and the lock she opens. Easy. Ah, oh, damn it. See you around, Giuseppe. Say Benedict. Easy, huh? Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. I do it all the time when I lock my keys in the car. Ci vediamo, Vito. Okay, you still feel like snagging that car? You kidding me? Absolutely. Well, here's your chance. Looks like we lost it. So how do you like the car? Not too bad. I think I'll keep it. All right, let's go find ourselves a body shop. They provide the kind of services we're looking for. Hey, that don't sound cheap. Don't worry about it. I got it covered. Just find any body shop. I know the guy who runs it. Park right here in front of the garage door. Okay, now honk your horn.
Right there, stop! What can I do you for, pal? No license plate. <laughs> for you, no problem. There you go. Gave her a couple of tweets. Bring it by anytime. Alright, next you should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. It probably have some work for you. 